It, is it set up? All right, I gotta. Well, after this set, I gotta go. I have, I, got, I, I have some other uh, concerns. But the set's starting up. They ran to the other side of the stage immediately. Oh, they yeah. know what type of matchup this is gonna be. Yeah, they're not trying to interact out here. And Mewtwo is kind of that character where you don't really interact until you start getting an advantage. Like, yeah. usually just like throw shadow balls, throw forward tilts, down tilts, until you get an advantage. Oh, RJ is just going after the neutral air. Free 20 damage. I should be interested to see how RJ, because these two guys play each other all the time, to see who's going to like have, take the advantage and just take the momentum. Because right now they're just kind of feeling each other out, just seeing like what's going to work and what's not. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. But right now, um, RJ is in a disadvantage with stock percentage. But right now, Freelance is just trying to do as best as he can just to fish for those damage. And RJ with those back airs, for some reason I just love the animation for uh, Inkling's back airs, man. I hate that. I hate really? that move, but I like the animation. The animation kind of clean, but like the move is not clean. That move is ignorant. <laughs> to put it lightly, the move is egg. <laughs> very, 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 lightly. very light. Oh, okay. okay. Speaking, okay. speaking of which, smash. And don't be fooled by that down smash. It looks like it has a lot of lag. No sir. Not, no. You can. You see right there. He just. He's spamming it. I'm pretty sure that. I'm pretty wow. sure that down smash is plus on whiff, bro. Like, really? No, it actually super, is. It super actually plus is. on whiff. You cannot punish that move. If Mewtwo is not hitting that move literally behind you, you cannot punish that move. Really? Well, shows why I've lost to him a lot of times. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we do it, like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, yeah. That Oh, this is a really, really good advantage state for Jolie right now. Let's see what he does at the ledge. Ooh, does, does a short off there instead of a uh, full off there like he wanted, probably. But, no, yeah, uh, a lot of Tony's duels will actually does a roll, like, when he's trying to get the kill, does revolve around using down smash and, like, kind of mixing up his timing with it. Yes. Uh, he's very, very, very good at mixing up, like, when he wants to barely miss the he's, forward air. Yeah. He tries to get the forward air after the neutral B, which was really smart, but it didn't, didn't connect for him. RJ tries to get the gimp, but good up B by Freelance. Oh, he tries to get the... Yeah. Up smash afterwards. But I, I read when he didn't want to get it because he was just going to throw out a move. And this is not really a struggle right now because, like, Mewtwo, ha Mewtwo is not lacking kill options. He yes. has down down smash. He has, like, three kill throws for some reason. Uh, he really do, though. Oh, yeah. For, uh, no, for no good reason. Oh, yeah, for, for no good reason. Oh, yeah, wait, no, three, he got two. Oh, up, yeah, two, up throw two. Back oh, yeah, up throw back there. But, and, yeah, and like, yeah, that's there we go. as we can see. Yeah. Shadow Ball kills, like, Mewtwo, Mewtwo's decent at killing. Yes. If Mewtwo was heavier and didn't have that tail hurt block problem, he would be probably where he was in Smash 4. Yeah, I, I'd say so. Right. As yeah, you can the, see there. And down that, throw into up, up there. And that's a bread and butter we've seen yes, so many times. The bread is soggy. Like, there's so much butter on that bread. <laughs> like, please, it's having a heart attack. But, right. Here, here comes the bread and butter coming out from Freelancer Leo. Nair the forward there. Almost nice get the F smash. Neutral air dodge. Yeah. I'm surprised you able to grab that. <laughs> Ooh, trying to catch his landing with the down smash, but RJ coming down with the back air. Oh, I thought he was going to read it. Okay, I was about to say I'm mad for him because that up air should have definitely hit. Yes. But like he picked it up anyway. He picked up the slide. Yeah, Freelance that, that that fall in there into fair was kind of hot. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That was that was clean. That was clean. A freelance takes game one. Huh? Mario. C Falcon. C Falcon. Excuse me. Excuse me, C Falcon. We're commentating, sir. This is serious. Very. <laughs> What an excellent play from, from Freelancer nice, Leo there. Nice, nice. Yeah, good Oh, stuff, most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, that was good. That was good. We like that. We like that. Where's wow. the wisdom coming out for our number one player? Man, that oh, man's not wise. He's dumb. He just what? mashes, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to say okay. He mashes and he hits guns. That's it. <laughs> Am I wrong? I mean, oh. I mean, if my character had a gun, I'd mash it too. That's what I'm yeah. saying. I'm just yeah. DK I mean, yeah, I mean, you feel DK me? with a gun here. Yeah. I mean, also, he does have a shotgun. That's giant punk. Oh, you right. You see them? And you do mash it. 
<laughs> you're not. You're All right, not back wrong. to game two. <laughs> RJ's got the ledge trap. See what happens back here. And going to Yoshi's story, coming, kind of coming out from RJ. How y'all feel about this? I mean, really good. Honestly, really good. Like, as a center world player, I love Yoshi's story just because of the ceiling. Yeah. But it should be interesting to see how they, like, um, God, I'm sorry. It should be interesting to see how Freelance be able to kill a little earlier with his up throws just because of that ceiling, but also it's just the stage is, it's just a weird stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, with the yeah, angles on the edge, edges and stuff. And so it should be interesting just to see how Freelancer used those angles, especially with this F smash. Yeah. And to mention those angles for just a second, in this matchup, I think it's particularly interesting because I feel like very nice down smash from RJ. Yes. For the inkling, it's a lot easier to actually ledge trap uh -huh. on this stage yes. because of the slants, because of the, how like how large they are and how well down tilt's good at like hitting the ledge. But because of how large U2 is, it's actually really difficult to safely space your down tilt at the ledge and ledge trap properly. Okay. Um, so I think it's actually a very smart choice from RJ to go here. Okay, okay. RJ's just waiting. Yeah, RJ's waiting. Like, because he knows he's like just with the stage he has that much of an advantage. But that's a nice up smash read by Freelancer Leo. And Yoshi Story kind of biting them back with that one. That up smash would not have killed on like any other stage. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Nice narrative the back here there. And he tries to read with the F smash. This pressure at the ledge is insane right yeah. now. Yes, RJ is getting those back airs as much as he could. Ooh, yeah. Like, yeah, Leo was on the ledge for like a good 30 seconds right there, but... And he's still... He's back again. Oh, he tries to get the read. He read the spot dodge, but because of uh, Inkling's fall speed, he wasn't actually... It was a good punish. Ledge. That's what... Yeah. Honestly, I think that's why the confusion makes ledge trapping Mewtwo actually not like harder. Well, actually, no, yeah, harder, but not too much harder because it's just so easy. Okay, great up smash out of shield Oops. there because you, you can't shield the ledge. You can't just cover so many things with just holding shield at the ledge against yes. Mewtwo because he's just gonna side beat you. Right now, RJ is just he's just throwing out stuff, man. Yeah, and it really be working because Inkling can do that. Oh, wow. Oh, and what? with the SD? Yeah, very weird SD coming out from RJ. That's not... He doesn't usually do stuff like yeah, that. I don't know what he was trying to do. He has a pretty good recovery already. Yeah. And so to see him just die that low is, is a bit weird. But right now... That ledge made that back air dash grab not true. That's crazy. So that was a free ledge trap. This actually might be huge yeah. for free ledge layout. Okay, get him off stage. Throw the grenade. Nice back air. Oh, he rolled up there. That's a really creative choice. I thought he was going to back there. there. I got mixed. My DI was definitely screwed. Oh, almost oh, a that, good That was the weakest smash. down smash I've ever seen in my entire life. You see, it's the, the angles of this stage, man. And yeah, that's And the it. back throw air is going to take it. What? Oh, what? oh my Okay, gosh. I am sorely mistaken. Yo, on God. Me too, the heaviest character in the game. And very wisely, Freelancer just steps back away from the ledge, man. Yeah, he... Uh, oh, and, and the back and air yeah, takes it That was it the sneakiest game, back air of yes. his life. Yeah, he came, he came from that top platform like Randy Savage, bro. He was like... Whoop. Just came out the top. Now, it should be interesting Jeez, where... Should yeah. be interesting where a freelancer takes this game three, because, yeah. like you say, he almost stole game two, which was very he, interesting. He almost took that. He almost took that. it, bro, man. Yoshi's story—that's insane. I can't believe that he did, like didn't get that conversion because of the slam. That's insane. Yeah, that was crazy. We got Smashville. Going back to Smashville, this where a freelancer took game one. Should be interesting to see how he takes that momentum from game one to try to bring it back because game two. Even though you almost stole it, I feel that I, I really feel Freelance can take this. I really feel that. Yeah. And I also feel like RJ can take it. Oh yeah. Like depending on how RJ plays, like 
I think he's definitely taking it. Yeah. <laughs> What's interesting about RJ's inkling that he does not use Splat Gun a lot. Yes. Yeah, I rarely see him use that move, and that move is so good. That move's busted. Another I, safe up air to jab. He did that game one. Very, very nice. Is that narrow bait? That's insane. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it was. Good up tilt into there. Oh. And already at 36, put, putting RJ at 36%. The pressure from Freelance Leo right now. He's yeah. just staying on him. That's great. Yeah, dude. Freelance Leo going back to his roots, bro. He, he is oppressive right now. I think that's what makes uh, Freelance Leo so good because he'll be playing very, very patiently. But at these times where it gets really, really stressful, he'll 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 mash. He'll turn it up. You know yeah, I mean? he will turn it up. And like, but not mash, mash. Like mash, like a intelligent player. And yeah, that's so he's been saving that punch for game three. I swear. I don't to God. think I've ever seen him use it this entire set. The roller. I think I only seen him use it once, and that was it. But yeah, yeah like he's rarely used that move this whole set. And RJ is just just pummeling right now, just taking as much damage as he possibly can. Such a good bomb, but Ooh. the F tilt by Freelance yeah, that was a gets him out of there. That you know was a clutch I mean? F tilt. Yeah, yeah, he definitely just reacted on that. Very, very smart option decision from Freelance Leo. A lot of the players would pick the weaker option and lose there, but he yes. picked the correct option. Back throw should take it. Great back throw. Great read. I like how he started mashing. He was like, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, it's over. <laughs> I'm dead. He's like, that's all right. That's okay. <laughs> that's no problem. Already that's no problem. That's no problem. That's no problem. That's no problem. <laughs> that's no problem. <laughs> Ooh, great down smash. Down air. Ooh, only catching the first hit of that down tilt, but follows up with the up smash. Nice coming great out from Marcus. Smash. RJ has been saving these. Like literally, there's so there's so many situations that we're seeing here at the uh, specifically at the ledge that he did not punish Freelance Leo for earlier in the set, and yes. now he's just picking the most optimal punishes for all these situations. It's yep. insane. Because you know the Freelance is using Nair a good bit of times once he gets off the ledge, and so now you see RJ actually reading it. <laughs> and RJ a bit tilted at that. You know if he loses this set, he's going to complain about that the whole time. <laughs> the whole time he's over here. Low profiling the net. Why, why is Inkling not banned? <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> he low profiled the area. Uh, yeah. I oh, no punch on the up here. Let's trap. Nice back here. Oh, but... Freelancer uh, Oh, wow. Yeah. It's such a great confirm the down air into the up smash. He's killed him three times with that up smash. That's insane. And RJ takes it, man. And I think RJ...